think some of the ways in which I, I see equine assisted learning these days is not just about people and horses together, but about the sorts of ways that you can um, think about horses as part of a theme, if you like. So people learning by uh, looking at horses as a theme. And these, these bones were really useful. This particular um, one here, this is part of a horse's head. And um, we were looking at these with um, one of the learners and she was interested in where the bone ended and how the halter goes on the nose. And so we talk quite often about you know, the soft tissue at the end of the muzzle and how important it is for the position of the halter, for example. But actually, when you see the skull and where the bones are, you can see why that might be, might be so important. And so we had a session with, um, with the bones, and then we went out to work with the horses. And so we were able to, uh, to then um, look at the, the hoof, and, and she was picking out hooves, having looked at the hoof, um, and thinking about the halter, having looked at the skull. And so those sorts of things are also ways of developing a curriculum for children um, and, young, um, and young people in a way that um, maybe enables learning to happen out of doors rather than in a classroom.